Hello everyone on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, the internet in general. This is John, and I'm once again back going to do a review of a food product that I'd find interesting. And this time is an exclusive, uh, not exclusive, this is a limited time. It kind of means the same thing. Flavor potato chip. Apple cider vinegar from the brand. Is it brand kettle? Is kettle the brand? I know kettle is a type of chip. Best before February 27th of 2021. Kettle brand potato chips, limited batch apple cider vinegar. Great taste, naturally. Um, so, a couple things. Um, you see this microphone in front of me. This is just uh, me testing to see how well um, this microphone worked for recording purposes. Um, so, sorry in advance if the audio is not as, not as good as something I've had in the past. I'm just trying a different thing for now to see, uh, you know, what will work best. Um, salt and vinegar potato chips are probably... My favorite uh, chip flavor and variety. It sounds pretty basic, but I like it. It goes well if you're eating sandwiches and stuff. Just give you that little sourness. Um, in Chicago, we have a company called Vintners that does chips and cheesy curls. Uh, they're actually a lot better than Cheetos, in my opinion. But they have a, a salt and vinegar chip that also has a spice to it. I think it's called like hot. Uh, salt and vinegar chips and those are probably my favorite chips of all time uh, Cape Cod I just saw come out with a pink Himalayan salt and red wine vinegar chip and I'm kind of interested in that too and if I get my hands on it we'll do a review but for now we're going to try these kettle brand potato chips apple cider vinegar flavor The Kettle Brand bag, it's like thick and substantial, like you're not going to accidentally tear into this. I'll show you the chips here. I was kind of thinking they'd be more of a reddish brown color for apple cider vinegar, but they just look like regular chips. They have like a sparkle to them. You can see the salt kind of hitting the light in a different way. Or maybe that's like crystals of vinegar. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. When it comes to like chip types, I'm a fan of like the wavy and the ridged chips. Even if I don't have dip for them, although like their, their purpose is for dip, to hold on to it. I think they're just like a, a really good combination of a little bit of thickness, a little bit of extra crunch. Then the regular thin chips, the originals. Kettles are kind of like my least favorite kind of chip. They kind of feel like they're already stale. So like that's a little, in my opinion, uh, for what I like. A little hit against these chips. Some people love them. They love the, the extra, extra crunch they get to them. Before I tell you my opinion, I want to eat a couple of them. Because you know. In a bag of chips, you're going to have some that have more and some that have less flavor on them. I'm already experiencing that with this. Apparently, this brand is very environmentally mindful. They uh, say their footprint is lower 43% less packaging than before 
This is 43% less packaging. Mm -hmm. Cuts our annual greenhouse emissions from packaging in half. Keeps over 2 million of plastics, 2 million pounds of plastic waste out of landfills. Same taste, same amount of chips, less waste. They're from Salem, Oregon. Meet your farmer, Tater Tracker. Mm, so you can find out, like, the name of the farmer who actually harvested these potatoes. So, I tasted a bunch of these. Let me give you my opinion. Limited batch, probably not going to go any further than that. The vinegariness of this is a lot milder um, than other salt and vinegar chips you might have, where the vinegar is very pungent, very sour and tart. This one, there's none of that tartness. Um, almost like, I know like if you eat too much salt and vinegar chips, it kind of has the same uh, thing that like eating too much sour candy does, or like you kind of start feeling a little bit of irritation on your tongue. Not as much as the sour candy, of course. Um, this has none of that. Uh, it has apple cider vinegar powder, which is uh, a rice maltodextrin and apple cider vinegar. Okay, I see. So they took like this maltodextrin powder made from rice. They soaked it in apple, apple cider vinegar. And then that powder they used to season these. There's also malic acid, citric acid, and acetic acid. You'd think with malic acid you'd taste more sourness. Kind of disappointed in these. A lot of a lot of the chips that I got so far, they don't have much besides salt to them. And like some of them which I imagine are the ones that probably got hit a little bit harder with the seasoning. You can kind of taste the apple ciderness to it. Not that one. It's just too light. Too light on the flavor. I was really expecting this to really hit me with the apple cider vinegar flavor. Apple cider vinegar has a wonderful flavor. I've mixed it with salad dressings and vinaigrettes and sauces for meals before. And it really does a lot to add not only the pungency of a vinegar, but also a little bit of sweetness, and uh, the apple -y goodness, ciderness to it. This one doesn't have it. It just doesn't have it. Um, and because of that, because it's a kettle chip that is not my favorite, the flavors are kind of muted and mild, not where I want them to be. Uh, it's just overall disappointing. I'm going to give this kettle brand limited batch apple cider vinegar chips a 6 out of 10. Definitely something that anyone should skip but like if you were given if I was given a bag of these for free I would still eat them because I would still eat salted regular salted chips so it's not like it's bad it's just that it doesn't have the flavor that I was looking for and that's disappointing to me almost makes me want to forget about the Cape Cod uh, red wine vinegar chips um, but it's a different brand. Maybe they did it better. Who knows? Have you tried the Cape Cod pink Himalayan salt and red wine vinegar flavored chips? If you have, and they're actually good, let me know so that I can actually try those out. So right now, after trying those, I kind of don't want to go out and get another bag of chips that I'm going to be disappointed for. Anyway, thanks for watching this disappointing review. Hope to see you again next time. 
give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.